How you doing? This is Shimmer You 101 again. Uh, again, I'm working on a 2002 Chrysler PT Cruiser. This is a limited edition. Um, so, this is about the O2 sensor, the downstream sensor, as you see underneath the car. That's the back end of the car. That's the front end. So, pretty much, I'm just making this real quick. Um, to get the O2 sensor off, and this is the O2, I've never changed this O2 sensor in my life. Um, I just use some vice grips, as you can see. And also, just for a little bit of leverage, I used, this is a piece of pipe, which is just a handle for my floor jack that I have. And I just slipped it on here and just cranked up on it and it cracked loose. Oh, that was close. <laughs> it cracked loose the O2 sensor. As you see, uh, I did drive the car for maybe about, um, I would say a total maybe 15 minutes. Maybe 15 to 20, 20 yeah, 15 to 20 minutes. And, um, I did spray some ooh, PB blaster. Some PB blaster on it. Um, let me zoom back out. So get your can of this and just spray. Um, let's see if I can show you guys. Um, just pretty much spray right there. And the spray on top. But yeah, you spray right there, and uh, but that's it. I let it sit for like maybe about I'm gonna say about five to ten minutes. No, I'll say about five minutes, ten minutes. Uh, and I started cranking on it, and I just got to get the right angle for my vice grips. Once I get the right angle, oh, another little tip wrap you some electrical tape around your vice grips just like go around it like maybe once or twice and just you know just once or twice and just wrap you some electrical tape and I got this out of Dollar Tree so you know and you're gonna need like a little short pipe if you don't have one like this from your jack your floor jack then just uh, you can get some from like maybe Home Depot or something they can cut you a piece of pipe that slip over your um, vice grips and that's it so i'm just gonna take this out and i got the new one if you're gonna replace it please i recommend using the oem um yeah, i know it costs more but it's gonna save you a lot of headache in the long run than trying to get an aftermarket part because uh, those can fail the sensor can fail down along the road you know but anyway i just want to make this video real quick uh, and as you can see, it is loose. I didn't loosen it all the way. I'm about to put the vice grips on it again. But I decided to do it by hand. I don't need the pipe. But yeah. So, uh, I'll be right back. So, I'm going to come back and just show you. It's, you know, it really is broken loose. So, I disconnected the... Uh, Sensor and to be honest, guys, I didn't think I was gonna get this loose. I thought I was gonna have to go to a shop, but I said, let me just give it a try with the masking tape on it, just a little bit of PB. I only drove for like I said, 10 to 15 minutes, and even after that, I let it sit because I was trying to get the tires off the front to check this shake I had. With the steering wheel, it just turned out to be the driver's side um, front tire. So I had to replace that. And, uh, yeah. I said, while I'm down here, I got the wheels off. Might as well just attempt, because I do have a code for this. That's on the... On my diagnostic scanner.
Okay. There she goes, boys. Yeah. So. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, I'll be back. So, back. This is the Mopar part. Okay. And that's what we will be working with today. Uh, let me try some light on. Hold on. There we go. So, yeah. That's the one that came out. And that's the Mopar part. I think this was the original. But you would think since 2002. I mean, it could have been replaced by somebody. I don't know. What if I just kind of. Just gotta show you that. Right? This lightning's not the best. Well, yeah, I was getting a cold. But a circuit. I checked the wiring and everything. Everything was good, so. I'm gonna replace this. I think this is the original. I just want to give you guys a little look at it for that. All right. Okay, I am back with the new one. As you guys can see, it already has the anti seize on there already, so I don't have to put any on there. So, I'm just gonna put it in, and that's it. I'll be back. All right, I got it back in there. You can see. And, uh, let's pull the zip tie around it so we'll be moving around. And that'll do it. So, again, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, just leave a like comment below and I'll uh, see you in the next one.